Jim, 3M bought Ceradyme. Right. Huge premium, 43% yes. premium. They're going after a ceramics maker. Their their ceramics are in cars and the oil and gas business. Mm -hmm. A little bit different from like an Avery Dennison that they've been looking at. Yeah. So what's Suddenly, going on here? Well, you know, it's interesting. They don't do a lot of military. 3M, so this is very military. 3M is a materials company. A lot of ways they like to make new materials. And sometimes they found this niche, this unexploited niche of materials, uh, down on its luck because it's a defense play. I mean, you know, this is body armor. Uh, the company is a brilliant scientific company of which one of its uh, forays into different kinds of science is this material that is very hard. And I mean, I see 3M applying this to other things. This is 3M. The three, three M equivalent of getting patents and exploiting. That's what I was about to say. It's the equivalent it of the tech run on yep. patents. It's intellectual property. Exactly. Now, I, you know, my dad used to work for three M, and I have always been partial to the company because the company is an inventor. So I think that this is a little different. They're not inventing; they're buying. Um, they've done that from time to time, and you know, mentioned the Avery Dennison, but they're in growth mode, and they're not going to let their growth slow down if internally they're not able to develop, and you know, if you take a look at their at all of their presentations, the sheer number of products that they've developed internally is extraordinary. This jump starts some growth, and even though we were uh, conditioned that this is a defense play, I wouldn't be surprised if 3M doesn't run this, this technology through a lot of new areas. It's a very impressive buy. It's definitely a long-term vision because exactly. they're going to get hit a little bit in the short term, but like you said, if they can mine some of this technology <laughs> I, and, and they can take this to... Exactly. I mean, years look, and years in the future. You've got a great management team. Um, they've ex historically exploited things much better than you would think, and they pay a great dividend. This is one I have never fought. I've always liked. Would you buy them then if yes. they had that quarter where they, they said, oh, we took a hit for buying this company and then I, everybody yeah, sells them? I think this stock in? is an up stock and it's not that expensive. And when I saw it do well after they said that our regular goal is now our stretch goal, I'm not saying any stock's immunized, but I'm saying that this is a good company to own.